angels, higher level beings, from my book, Gnosis Through the Ages. What our ancestors saw as angels, and what some people today think of as aliens, were mentioned in the ancient past as beings who entered or visited our physical world from the spiritual world, realm or heaven. What our ancestors were seeing were higher level beings, meaning a higher level consciousness that has evolved to the point of no longer needing a physical body, who may or may not have previously reincarnated as a human in the distant past, or it may be you from a previous lifetime, or maybe a family member. This human form is not the final form of evolution. To think so is laughable. These higher beings have always existed, regardless of space and time. They are pure thought consciousness. These pure thoughts that can be only expressed through us human beings or intelligent life. The pure thoughts of our inner God is our true nature. Tapping into the spiritual realm or our divine spark seeking answers is how our ancient ancestors accomplished so much in a short period of time. Our ancestors would fast, meditate and take psychedelics to realize the deeper truths, to receive divine thoughts or information buried deep within themselves. So if we brought forth the Big Bang, how does this work? This can be explained through reincarnation and evolution. We have all lived many lifetimes from organisms, planets to humans. The soul seeks experience, ascension and evolution to seek its highest experience, Nirvana. To achieve this takes learning, self-discovery and experience. Thus does life rarely devolve because the soul continues to seek higher states of consciousness. We are all evolving minds to become one with God or energy. We are the absolute and we are the all. But yes, there is other life out there. And yes, they can travel through space. If we also wish to do the same, we must evolve past our animalistic nature. This means to stop being controlled by our primitive instincts, such as greed, jealousy, and fighting over religion. We must grow beyond our materialistic mindsets and develop beyond the need of an authoritarian government. We need to come together and rule together collectively. We must focus on our own self-sufficiency and our own evolution. Working together collectively, making the world a better place. This would be the goal of an advanced civilization, not 
burning out their resources and destroying themselves. The current world rulers are afraid of the population. They're afraid that if the population becomes too intelligent, they won't be able to rule over them. But we must rule together, as Jesus said in the Gnostic scriptures. The generation with no rulers are the ones who will get it right. Jesus also states, there is a holy generation with no rulers. This is because you are not a body. You are a living mind or soul. The body is just the vessel or a tool for the mind to experience physically. The mind or soul does not need a king or ruler. You are the master key.